Today I am making a bolognese. First you will need mince, a half an onion, the pasta and the pasta sauce. You can have potatoes in there. In that pot I have two medium potatoes with salt and pepper in it. In this pot it's been boiling and that's for the pasta. So far I've got salt, pepper, a little bit of oil in there. I'm going to place about, um, you can use any pasta, I just like this pasta. I'm going to place about a cup in there, maybe just over a cup. Yeah. Or, you know, if you're feeding a lot more, you can just pack it up. Okay. Awesome. And I've got them cooking at medium to high. High. I'm just going to turn on my pan. What I have in my pan is butter. Uh, maybe a teaspoon of butter. And a little, little bit of oil. And then I am going to put the mince in. And it gets a bit hotter. And in the mince I am going to put in salt, pepper, bit of chilli, bit of mixed herbs. Or if you don't have mixed herbs you can always just stick to salt and pepper. But if you want to. And this sauce I know it's upside down but it says tomato and garlic in there. So, but if you want to add in your own garlic or your own preference you can put cheese in there but at the moment I don't want to put cheese in there so we're just gonna have mince pasta but you can put vegetables in there if you like too okay so so far what I have in here is I've got the chili a teaspoon of chili a teaspoon of mixed herbs I have a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of salt and pepper um, and I'm just going to cook until lightly brown and then I'm going to add in the sauce. Okay, I'm going to add in the onions so you know, it can infuse with the mince. You could always put your onion in first if you want to but I don't like to do it because I don't like my onions getting burnt or anything like that. Maybe I'm just not cooking it right but yeah. So I'm going to cook this all together, the onions will come out nice and soft and then the mince should be cooked. Okay, since everything's nice and soft and the onions are cooked and the mince is cooked, I'm about to put a half a, half a tin of the pasta sauce in. But depending on how much your mince you've used, so I've only used a half of a $10 mince, so... It's probably about, not too sure, maybe 500 grams. Yeah. So just mix through and then just let it simmer on medium to high. And then once you see that the color of the sauce has kind of infused ev to everything, kind of stuck to everything. Then you just turn it down, but make sure you always stir. Stir it so it doesn't stick. I see, look, I've got a lot of moisture in there. And that's awesome, because that's all the flavour. Okay. So everything's cooking. And, you know, if you've cooked some, you know, fresh vegetables or just some frozen vegetables, you can always stick it in and it stretches it out more. But if you haven't, that's okay, because then you've still got your pasta or your potatoes. And my pasta's been cooking for a bit now, and it's just about getting there. Sorry about the camera. So, and you won't know until it's cooked, until you pretty much either cut it in half, or you have a try. And I've had a try, and it's not quite ready yet. I like it, like, fully cooked. My potatoes over here. They are nice and just about cooked. You could have it half cooked or fully cooked. It's up to you, but I'm going to fully cook them so I can um, mess some um, mess potatoes up for my baby. Okay, I think that's it. I'll come back in a bit and mess them all together and you can see. 
Okay, I am starting to plate up now. So this is my pasta. It's all lovely and cooked. And you can, you know, scoop it on or like, yeah, like so. Or if you don't want to, you want to have a rustic, just put it in straight in the bowl and mix it all together. But I like mine all kind of separate. And if you want to put cheese on it, go ahead and put cheese on it. Any cheese will do because the the flavours are just so beautiful with anything. And then, I know because I've had a sample while I was paused. It's so delicious. Just a nice subtle hint of chilli. If you like a lot of chilli, you can stick a lot of more in than one tablespoon. Okay, there we go. How beautiful does that look? Thank you for watching.